What makes this region so special to you? you know, Claremont County is a special place. Um, it's affordable housing. It's a good place to raise a family. It's a good place to retire. Quality of life, nice natural resources with the Ohio River. We have uh, Harsha Lake at East Fork Lake. East Fork State Park, one of the largest parks in Ohio at 5,000 acres, mm -hmm. with camping and trails and swimming and boating, fishing. Um, but all around, uh, Claremont County is a good place to call home. Can you tell me about your business? My business is Ubel Management Group. Um, Ubel Management Group has been in business since 1989. Uh, I specialize in buying distressed assets. Okay. Um, I've owned companies as far away as Moscow, Russia and uh, Moscow, Ohio. Um, maybe one of the few people that can have both Moscows on my business card. But over the last uh, 12 years, I've specialized in buying distressed manufacturing companies. Um, and that's uh, pretty much where we, we work. Okay. Can you tell us what makes this region good for you and business? Well, I would like to just comment on how it's good for my business. Uh, specializing in manufacturing, Cincinnati has always been for 100 plus years a hotbed for manufacturing in the United States. Uh, as a result, there's a lot of good machinists here still. Mm -hmm. um, many of them live in Claremont County and Brown County and Adams County. So being here in Claremont County off of uh, 125, State Route 125, it's an easy place to access and we've always had good, uh, good access to employees. Okay. How would you like the people of this region to view the county's accomplishments? You know, I'd like people to realize that we have uh, good roads. Um, it's a safe place. Uh, we have uh, good property taxes, relatively speaking. They're low. And people get good, good value for their money here. How would, you how would you like the people of this area to view you? Well, I think I'd like people to realize that um, I'm coming in for one reason, that's to make the county better. I'm mm -hmm. taking 30 years of my business experience and uh, trying to leave the place a little better than I found it. Okay. People tell me you've been the driving force in Claremont County. Care to comment? Oh, I would disagree. Claremont County is made up of so many great people mm -hmm. and businesses. County employees at the government level are phenomenal. Um, I didn't gain quite the appreciation for them until I stepped into office mm -hmm. and realized uh, why things run so smooth in the county. It's the people. What is the most important thing people should know about you? Uh, I think people have to understand that um, I'm here for one reason and one reason alone, and that's uh, to leave this office in better shape than I found it. Recently, the Claremont County Convention and Visitors Bureau coordinated a group effort to bring back rowing to Harsha Lake. Would you care to comment on the rowing group and their economic impact to Claremont County? I would say, uh, go out on a limb here, but I would say that rowing regattas are one of the biggest single engines for, for filling beds in hotel rooms, uh, economic development, if you will. When we have a rowing regatta, uh, a three or four day weekend, every bed in the county is full at the hotel level. Uh, sales taxes are up, restaurants are full. Um, people in Claremont County don't realize how much of a gem we have in Harsha Lake. It's probably one of the top three rowing venues in the United States for long course. Uh, it's ideally suit up, suited for, um, for races with the type of water it has, the shelter it has. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a phenomenal uh, asset, uh, natural resource. Um, and I think we need to make a better use of it. Okay. What is your opinion of how the state of Ohio is performing? Well, I think the state of Ohio is moving in the right direction. Um, of course, the Great Recession uh, took its toll on the state and all states. But since 2010, we've overcome an $8 billion deficit in our state budget. Uh, we've reduced taxes the governor has by $800 million. Our unemployment rate has come down dramatically. However, I think we still have a ways to go to make it more business friendly. We need to find ways to keep our kids here at home. Uh, many mm -hmm. of them go to college and then never come back. Uh, we need to have reasons for them to be here and a big part of that is attracting businesses that want to locate here and remain here. Mm -hmm. Who's your best help in government? My best help? I think I'd have to look at the people uh, that work for county government. Mm -hmm. And as I said earlier, uh, Coming into office, I wasn't familiar with all the employees at the county level, 
But now that I'm there, I have a true appreciation for the quality and caliber and capabilities of the employees at the county level. Uh, people like Steve Raybould, our county administrator, is uh, extremely intelligent, very capable, um, and uh, a great smooth operator. We've got people like Suki Sheets in the Office of Management and Budget. Mm -hmm. She's phenomenal. Uh, we couldn't do our job and balance our budget without her. And her assistant, Mary Raines, uh, Andy Kuchka in economic development is a great asset and resource. Um, somebody like Tim Dick in the Department of Job and Family Services works in child services. Uh, he's a great, uh, great individual. He's committed and uh, makes a difference for so many kids in uh, the adoption and, and foster care system. Um, but I can go down the list all day long, but our county government is well run, a well oiled machine, and it's because of the people and the caliber we have. What do people in the community tend to criticize Claremont County for? I think uh, traffic at rush hour. Okay. Uh, I think it's easy to say uh, we would all be in agreement that uh, State Route 32 during rush hour is uh, a bottleneck. Um, uh, however, it is something that's uh, more than just on our radar. We're in the process of improving that now with over $80 million in uh, uh, highway improvements uh, taking place in that corridor now on 275 and 32 and 28. But along 32, our plans uh, going five years out is to fix the interchanges along uh, Glen Estee, Withamsville and Bach Buxton uh, and further up um, to improve the flow of traffic on 32 during rush hour to open up that corridor for more opportunities of business development and such. Who are the best businesses in Claremont County? Oh, we've got a lot of good companies here, but uh, let's just pick one industry. How about bakeries? Okay. Um, in the Eastgate area, on Glen Estee, Williamsville, we have Bucknell's, Becknell's mm -hmm. uh, uh, Bakery, and they have great cupcakes and cakes. Okay. Over in Amelia, uh, I love Marcello's uh, Donuts, or Marcello's Donuts, uh, the most decadent donuts I've ever had. Um, down in New Richmond, there's Peacock Pastry. Um, my favorite there is the Blonde Brownie. Okay. Um, but the key is that they're all family owned and family operated. Uh, they're not franchises, which is nice. Right. Um, but I think those are just highlighting one sector of the economy. But I think we have some good bakeries here in Claremont County. Sure. How has the Convention and Visitors Bureau helped the community? Well, I think the, the mission for the Convention and Visitors Bureau is to stimulate the economy by filling hotel rooms um, and increased in sales tax as a result of that. Um, but, you know, we've, uh, the, the Convention and Visitors Bureau has done a great job attracting car shows, um, um, soccer tournaments, uh, rowing regattas, uh, which are, are huge um, from an economic standpoint. Uh, we've had art shows, um, Pioneer Days in Milford, uh, River mm -hmm. Fest down in New Richmond uh, with the cardboard boat race, mm -hmm. um, world renowned. But uh, all of these events and many more um, um, allows the Convention and Visitors Bureau to accomplish its objective, and that is to increase uh, uh, the use of the hotels and um, sales tax, generating sales tax. I was just down in New Richmond yesterday. Most people don't know about the cardboard racing show is that there's a Titanic award. Oh, really? The uh, quickest boat that sinks. I so. didn't know that. That's a first. But uh, you know they do have the museum there as well. Yes. And they've had people as far away as uh, Finland, I think, uh, come and visit the museum. Mm -hmm. uh, it's even been featured on ESPN, I believe, as a reference for the, uh, the race day. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So. Tell us about your Buffalo Ranch. Well, I, I moved to New Richmond and buying an old distressed um, ranch. It was a, actually a dairy farm originally. And um, we decided that buffalo were more natural for the mm -hmm. area. They were... Um, 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 natively, naturally found here back in the 1600s, 1700s until they were hunted to extinction in the Midwest and then pushed out west. But uh, the buffalo industry has been good for us. We've enjoyed it. We treat them as natural animals or wild animals. They roam the property freely. They're free range. We don't uh, administer any um, antibiotics or hormones. Uh, they're grass finished. It's a good product. It's high in omega-3 and uh, that's the good fat versus right. omega-6, which is your bad fat. So it's high in omega-3, it's uh, low in cholesterol. Wow. Uh, it's, it's, uh, um, 
people sometimes are allergic to meat, um, and buffalo meat is hypoallergenic, being mm -hmm. people that have meat allergies are not allergic to buffalo meat. Mm -hmm. But uh, we've been at it now as a family for 20 years, and they're beautiful animals. Um, we enjoy it. It's very nice to wake up in the morning with a cup of coffee and look out over the pasture and see 50 or 60 head roaming around. Hmm. Um, it's very idyllic, and uh, that's why we came to Claremont County. So I'd have to say for us, it's working. Okay. Well, Mr. Yuba, I want to thank you for your time today, and it was really enjoyable. And I think uh, the information you gave us was informative, and I think the people of Claremont County are lucky to have you. And uh, I wish you all the best this upcoming year. Well, thanks for having me in, Mark. And uh, as head of the Convention and Visitors Bureau, I wish you all the best and keep up the good work. It's an important uh, bureau here in the county. Um, and uh, we appreciate everything you're doing. Thank you. Thanks.